Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So, suppose I have this little piece of bar stock and I need to make a hole right down the center of it, all the way through. Well, I'm fortunate enough to have a metal working lathe, so it's not all that difficult to chuck this up in the lathe, put a drill bit in the tail stock and just drill a hole through it. However, suppose I need this center hole to be nice and smooth and precisely 0.444 inches in diameter. That presents a little bit more of a challenge, because if you've ever looked at the inside of a drilled hole, a typical drill bit leaves a pretty rough surface finish. And they're not all that precise either. Uh, you know, in my experience, a drilled hole can be anywhere from just a couple thousandths of an inch larger than the drill bit that drilled it up to 25, 30, even 50 thousandths larger than the drill bit that w was used to make the hole. Um, as a rule of thumb, I usually figure that a drilled hole will be about a 64th of an inch larger than the drill bit that was used. You know, if you have a, a standard set of drill bits in 64th of an inch increments, typically if you drill a hole through a piece of metal with one drill bit, the next drill bit up in size will actually fit snugly into that hole. But again, it varies depending on a lot of factors. So if we need a precise hole with a good surface finish, what we really need to use is a reamer. However, 0.444 inches is not a standard reamer size either, so I can't just go down to the local hardware store and buy a reamer that size. I probably can't even order one online unless I go to a custom reamer you know, manufacturing shop that's going to charge me an arm and a leg for it. So I think the better solution is to make a custom reamer myself. First, I will turn the reamer from a piece of tool steel on my lathe. Uh, typically, I've been using type A2 tool steel for custom reamers, and it seems to work pretty well. The head of the reamer will be about an inch and a half long and exactly 0.444 inches in diameter. The shank of the reamer I will turn to a somewhat smaller diameter for clearance. Next, I'll put the reamer in my so-called Norris chuck, the uh, helical machining apparatus that I came up with for my milling machine, and cut some flutes in it. Typically, I cut these with about a 1 in 7 twist rate. Next, I harden the reamer by heating it red hot and then quenching it with compressed air. In this case, I also had some rifling buttons and other small tools that I was hardening in the same batch. Now it's back to the helical machining apparatus to grind the cutting edges on the reamer using a diamond grinding point that I've mounted in a die grinder, which in turn is mounted parallel to the vertical axis on my milling machine. At this point, our custom reamer is complete. Now I've got the piece of bar stock chucked up in the lathe, and after marking the center with a center drill, I drill out the initial pilot hole using a 2764 drill bit. Now we just finish the hole to size using our homemade custom reamer. And there we have a nice smooth concentric hole of precisely the right diameter. So that concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.